Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about the tail info for new contribution point experience required after 12 January 2022 maintenance update. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. After 12 January 2022 maintenance update, outside Korea server, we just got new update for using contribution experience required to get more maximum contribution point on our family. But be notice this contribution require reduction have different rate depend on how much contribution point that you already have previously. And the more maximum contribution point that you have, the more reduction contribution experience that we get from this update. And this reduction will stop if you have more than 4 125 maximum contribution point but be notice this maximum contribution point still limitless you can get more contribution point than this number and as you can see actually my contribution point also already more than 425 so to get more contribution point I didn't get this XP reduction anymore and if your family have maximum contribution point on one of this bracket you can get more maximum contribution point more easy than before and in this video I will show you how much contribution point that we need after After this update, as you can see both of this table, actually I got this table from community that share about this contribution point calculation. On the left is contribution point before update and on the right is contribution point after this update. At the first column, this is maximum contribution bracket. The second column is revealing how much contribution point experience that you need to get another one maximum contribution point on each bracket. And the third column is how much byproduct item like which delicacy that you get from cooking or mysterious catalyst that you get from alchemy that you need to get one maximum contribution point and this is translated version that I added to more easy understanding about both of this table so you can know more detail contribution experience require and by product require to get one more maximum contribution point on your family and to get this by product once again for which delicacy you can get it by random when doing cooking life skill using any cooking utensil on your residence or your manor and this mysterious catalyst you can get it from doing alchemy using alchemy tools on your residence or your manor and you can exchange both of this item on all via city at specific NPC for mysterious catalyst you can go to bovin NPC that located on storage keeper near all via city and for which delicacy you can hand over it with Nadia Rowan at all via city actually both of this item you can choose another alchemy and cooking material but I recommend you to use the both of this item to exchange it to become contribution experience and cooking or alchemy experience depend on by product item that you exchange and another way to get maximum contribution point experience you can get it by doing any kind of quest either main quest or daily quest you will usually see this icon actually this CP it's mean about contribution point experience that you get by finishing any kind of quest actually on your quest page at recurring tab there are so many kind of daily quests that you can do every day but I recommend you to do Calpeon daily quest if you still have low maximum contribution point maybe below 300 contribution point this calpeon daily quest still worth it to do every day using your alternate character and you can check my old video that show you daily quest run on calpeon city in this video i show you how to do this calpeon daily quest with the most efficient way and also another capital city daily quest that i recommend it's valencia city daily quest and duvenkron city daily quest because both of these daily quests will give you huge amount of contribution contribution experience from all of this daily quest and more detail about daily quest run to get efficient time when you're doing this daily quest every day you can check my old video that I cover about all daily quests on every capital city and every region as always I already put link for this playlist on this video description you can check it for more detail and when you're doing this daily quest I recommend you to use this alien Tom of the Sun on your character because as you can see you can get more contribution XP from any quest and you can get this alien tomb of the sun by doing some special quests that per abyss just released on last calpeon ball 2020 when they first time announced nova class and in this video i show you nova class quest intro but i'm not sure if you still can get this family quest and you can comment on this comment section if you still can get this family quest or not to get this alien tomb of the sun or you can use capra's journal of glory to get 20% more contribution experience from any quest that you can get 
target this Capras Journal of Glory after finishing Capras Record Book 1, Book 2, Book 3, until Book 4. At the end, you can choose one of these three Capras book that you also can exchange it to become any Capras journal that you need at one time. Once again, to finish this Capras Record Book 1 until Book 4, you can check on this video description. I already put link for the tile guide to finish all this Capras record until the end. And another source to get contribution point, you can do Adventure Journal Fugar Times of Success from Book 1, Book 2, until Book 3. And at the end, you can use this Fugar Secret book to get huge amount of contribution experience if you still have little amount of maximum contribution point. And I very recommend you to do this Fugar Times of Success until finish to get additional 1 DP and another attribute for your entire character in your family. Okay, now I will show you how to use this contribution point wisely because usually you can use this contribution point to rent some item from NPC, for casing house, and not investment. And be noticed when you using this contribution point, your contribution point will not disappear. You can take back your contribution point anytime. And I recommend you to use this contribution point to connecting to any node and you can make this worker to become worker empire to get more passive income when you playing Black Desert online. And you also can rent some residence, lodging or any workshop from any housing on Black Desert online. But if you have some budget to spend on Black Desert World, you can minimize contribution point usage for any kind of lodging or storage on your city. Because on per shop, if you go to function tab, you can purchase any kind of worker lodging expansion coupon from any city, either for small city or capital city, to get expansion for your worker slot. But maximum, you only can purchase it 3 pieces lodging plus 1 expansion coupon per family per city and also any kind of expansion coupon for WAF stable for your land mount and any kind storage city expansion coupon but before you purchase it using pearl I recommend you to purchase it from loyalty shop first because in your loyalty market you can get some storage expansion coupon and on some event you can get worker lodging expansion and stable expansion coupon from loyalty shop and I very recommend you to purchase all kind of this expansion slot from even loyalty shop because this is limited time so actually this is pay for convenience from per shop either for stable slot city storage expansion wharf expansion and lodging expansion that you can replace it from per shop rather than using your contribution point to rent some housing for this expansion content and you can focus to use your contribution point for connecting not investment for your worker empire to get any kind material from your worker or to rent some tools to increase your productivity and you can track your contribution point distribution by hover your cursor on this contribution point icon you will see on the bottom of this description current usage either for purchasing any house not investment and renting any kind of item that I already show you previously okay I think that's all quick tips and trick about this contribution point after 12 January 2022 maintenance update and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via patreon career Karsa, and YouTube membership and also my current member Z Crew, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snack, Doki, Renegades X, Gospel, Homie, Ayrton, Tepan Gaming, Kill Steel, Remy, Cloudy, Munpai BDO, Jan Andres, Jimon Finding GF, Token R42, Kaimana, S Gold Member, and also all my Silver and Bronze Member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level and be noticed for some level there are have some limit so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space and I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karekarsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video. I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all. The tell info for new contribution point experience required after 12 January 2022 maintenance update hope this info can be useful for you if you like this video you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update thank you for watching see you next time